O V M C 这个是吧？嗯、o、okay, K， 直播中。This is Emily from Shadow Deep Precision Machine Tool Company, and uh, now I'm doing a uh, test library, library of uh, metal casting of our company. And uh, in this uh, place, we can show you the advantage of uh, metal castings. So, firstly, let's see this one. So, for, for this one, we have three things. First is a steel, the second is uh, iron casting. And uh, the second is mineral casting. And the mineral casting is the casting material that we are using now for uh, all series of our products. So it has a small hamper. And we can, we can hear a noise. First is the steel. The second is uh, iron casting. And the third one is mineral casting. See the, the differences of the voices when there's no hammer, uh, just to click uh, each sample. And we can, from this, we can see uh, one, the first advantage of the manual casting is the vibration absorption ability. So, uh, as per the data that we researched before, that for manual casting, the, the vibration absorption capacity of the Manual casting is 10 times the iron casting. This means that uh, when the machine when you and when the machine do the processing of your bed, your your bed, your machine bed will uh, vibrate for sure. Each one will have that. Even the the top uh, uh, machines from uh, Europe. So each machine will have the vibration. Once you have the machining or processing, you have the vibration. So the the key point is that uh, which machine can absorb can absorb the picking most the vibration of the machines and the keep the stability of the processing. So now uh, it means that uh, for manual casting, you can you can see from the voice just now that uh, manual casting is the best choice for the uh, machine. If you want the machine to have very stability and uh, even the processor can cause any vibration, it will not cause any vibration uh, for your processing and keep your processing more stability, more stable. Okay, and now we can see also. All that feature here, all those that are all made of metal casting. And this, this metal casting technology we take from German. And for this time, you can see it's very And because of the metal casting the material we got from Germany, uh, they have a very good uh, capacity that they can be self compact. So there's no bubbles inside. And this is also another advantage of the a metal casting compared to iron casting. And we can see these are some small stones. And uh, this, these are the stones that uh, each one we select, selected from a different area and do the comparison. And each one they have the very strict um, uh, limit or demand for the size of each small stone. And this is uh, uh, our one of our raw material. Also you can see there are set very clean sand, and also you can see there are, this is a steel fiber that's also some kind of a material for this, for the whole recipe. And now you can see, oh, okay, here is a, a three light that we always see it in the classes. When we are in a primary school and the teacher uh, tell, uh, guide us to do some tests, now we also do some tests. And the, I can first show you that uh, we also have three samples. The first sample, this one, the white, in, white in color one is mineral casting. The middle is iron casting. And the third one is for steel. And uh, you can see the, there are some gauge, some measurement gauge. And this are uh, for, for the gauge of, uh, to, to gauge, to test the temperature of each one. And so I will light the, I will just uh, light on and we can see the temperature from the front, the middle, and the, the back of each sample to see the temperature changes when they are heated. Uh, <coughs> okay, 
So I will show you later about that because I do not have a flyer now. And so these are the samples of our metal casting. And you can see it's very clear that how to see. It's see that it easy for this kind of material is very easy to make it into different different shape, and it's very easy to get this kind of shapes. So for this one, you can see we have a this one. We can have a screws, and we can just make it like a real steel one. And you can see uh, when we can do that match with each other, it means that uh, with this this material, you can get very precise uh, precision as as uh, as what you want when you think. So it's very easy to shape the drawings or the shapes or the material that you want. And the second is that you can see. For this one, this is like a toy, and we give a mold, and we take it this toy, and we can see on the surface it's very, very uh, smooth, and uh, but we didn't do anything to it. It, it just uh, come out like what it is, it is now. So it means that you can see uh, it shows again the material points is that uh, self that it it have a very good ability to. To be self-compacted, that the bubbles coming out maybe from the bottom, but not in the middle of the all the castings. So inside there's no bubbles, and the surface is very smooth, and it's very easy for us to use it as the base part for the machine. And it's easy for us to do the machining and keep the appearance to looks good. Also, this is also. Uh, I don't know. It's Ultima. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't know what's his name, but also we have this mold, and it's easy for us to take us some molds uh, like this. And also the gears. And this is a small sample for our machine. It's also made of uh, metal plastic. And here we can see. Uh, sometimes when we see that uh, this is a mineral casting and we, we tell about it, it's made of UHPC It's short for ultra high performance concrete So some customer will say, oh, I, don't want, I do not want anything that's made of concrete But this concrete is not the normal concrete So, uh, but uh, before, before we got these samples, we have no idea how to uh, explain to the customer what's the big difference but you can see from even the two boards that you can see the one, the first one is to have many holes and bubbles and the, 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 the very smooth and compacted surface so you can see the difference of them that it's very obvious that this one is a normal concrete that's or cement that we see in our daily life sometimes you work, you work, uh, work along and you see okay this is um, some workers they are building a new a new house, and they are using something like this. And for this one, it's a special material. That's all the material that uh, are from Germany, and we imported it from Germany. And so you can see first from the appearance that they are different. And then when you have a chance to come here and visit our uh, factory, we, uh, we we can we can just uh, you can pull them into your hand, and you can see the weight is very different. This thing, this one is quite light. And this one is heavy, much heavier. And also, um, this is not easy for me to to fold them on the floor and maybe it will damage the floor. But when I have a chance, we can also have a test that to put them two boards, just throw them to the floor. And you can see, you will see that this one is very easy broken. Like this, it's already broken a little. But for this one, it's not so easy to broken because all inside is solid and there's no bubble, so it's very strong and solid. But for this one, so we cannot, we can never use it for the base uh, parts for the machines. It's for sure. Okay, so here you can see that we have many boxes. We have different liquid. This is uh, for different uh, liquid, like chemical liquid. That sometimes uh, we we judge it. Uh, from a pH, pH value, someone uh, over seven and someone uh, below seven, and we put them into into this liquid for very long years. For this one, you can see we put this sample into this liquid since two, 2018 August 
uh, 16. So it means we already put it, in, put it, put the samples into this box for around three years or around. So we can see why we put them inside is because we want to put them in. We never know uh, when the customer gets get this uh, this uh, machine. Uh, we, what's the environment that it will use these machines in? Sometimes uh, a very uh, cold place, sometimes a very hot place, and sometimes they use different liquid. But even no matter what what kind of oil and what's the liquid that you put them into the actually like a machine bed or products, it will not be affected. And from this one, you can see very details about the uh, how is uh, the machine's uh, uh, appearance after after it put it put in some liquid. And this one was put in uh, in the. Uh, Industrial oil, like uh, the oil that we use in a factory since 2018. And now you can see it's still very strong. You can see what's inside of the uh, castings. So we can see, oh, there's uh, uh, steel fibers that connecting with uh, each other. So it's also not easy to be damaged. And for this kind of uh, test, we will continue doing it bench by bench and to make sure every property is uh, normal and good for your machines. And for this one, for each test, this is only one test that we did for this kind of manual, manual testing. And all tests like uh, for the temperature and uh, we also uh, put them into different recipes and uh, see what's the performance. So each bench we, we give a, a record and each record we just put into the files so that uh, Sometimes, uh, for example, uh, there's some small problem of the machine, and we we are easy, very uh, it's very easy for us to trace back which bench and in which state we did which kind of test and what's the test result. Normally, when you find it, it means that the manual testing that for your machine already tested and already qualified. And this is a uh, 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 just a. Uh, a, show, a sample show to show the manual castings, and you can see that also for the hole, it already have screws that we embedded the inside. So the, the screws is not after the, we got the uh, castings that we put inside. It means that when we do the casting, we will, we will have wooden molds or steel molds. But when we design the molds for this uh, work piece or for these parts, we already designed the screws for each part. Well, and for which size we need to put in some steel parts. So these steel parts are we call it embedded. And also we did some tests about the uh, metal casting, and we can have some uh, reference for this candle. And this is uh, an anti-bailing stress. It's uh, 17 uh, ampere, and uh, it's the, uh, just the pressure stress is 180 MPa. And this is uh, the uh, the metal casting, the casting uh, precision, uh, size precision is um, 0 0.1 and, uh, and uh, this is uh, others like uh, the flatness, the surface, uh, surface, surface, how to say, roughness. And uh, also we can see that uh, the center of each, uh, each house. But it's not steel. So how is that we have a very strong pressure, or we have a very strong coal power that we will we will manual casting will, will the casting be broken? So a test also. So you can see here that we did a test. We send this this uh, big casting to a, 
uh, laboratory and they did the and kind of a, a national library uh, for this industry that did test for us. You can see even so even the, the we have a steel stiff inside and you can we can see even it is uh, broken so even this part is already broken it's it's not damaged it's not just uh, crushed into some this uh, or, or still one piece and uh, we got the uh, member that uh, for this kind of uh, strength it's around uh, 1 to 2.5 uh, and you for normal use and the normal pool power you will not get this uh, so far so for your normal use and for all your machining, babies and for all your, um, using the lens in your workshop, it will not got any problem about you pull out it and you damage it and you, you put and it will be damaged. So if you can just uh, uh, don't worry about that. And this is also some uh, samples and these people also many requesting and we can see these samples especially for this one especially for this one that you can see the embedded steel parts also inside and we can just uh, guarantee the precision for this part and this kind of uh, uh, samples that uh, we normally embedded inside like this one and like this and like this kind of small parts The casting, the samples, we can see that in the casting, what we can embed it, we can embed the PVC, the pipes, some uh, lifting, or some uh, parts, some steel parts for lifting, because later we need to lift the machine. And also, we, we also can have some uh, screws, some parts embedded inside. So that after we get out the machine, it's, it means that uh, this kind of uh, uh, steel parts are already embedded and it's already together out with the with the castings. So we have very, it's very easy for us to go to the next process about the processing and easy kind of assemblies. And you can see here's uh, the the places that we reserve for the crane to to just uh, lift in the machine parts. And also this is uh, some uh, small groups. And the some parts that we need to do, uh, we, we need to reserve to help uh, uh, keep the uh, machine performance. And also, uh, we have some pipes inside to put some water, and so that for the water it can have very constant temperature. This is a, a general introduction for the metal casting. But the pity is that we do not have a light, so I cannot show you the heat stability for the metal casting. But the heat stability is quite great because uh, sometimes uh, we have some customers that they live in um, in China, it's in north uh, east north north east of China, like it's very high in, in uh, winter times, so like in Russia. So so uh, when the time low, and the, the 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 performance of the of the machines will be affected. No matter, uh, no matter, uh, maybe some some suppliers also see that okay, it will not be affected. But we get the feedback sometimes, and also for example in India or in, in south part of China, it also have some places that the whole year the temperature is still keep very high, like the whole year in summertime. So we will also we will the when the temperatures are keep very hot and very high, it will also be effective for the machining. So why? Uh, so this is why we need the machine and we need the base parts on the machine to have very good uh, heat stability. It means that uh, the heat stability means that no matter the environment the temperature is too high or too hot or no matter it's a minus, uh, minus uh, 20 degrees or, or just a very hot time like uh, uh, for the performance of the machines are uh, pretty good, still keep the sense. So, uh, next time when I have time, I will prepare the lighter first in the once and I show you the heat stability and that's looking for all. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Your show is